We got work to do. You guys keep chatting about positive, happy things. I'm gonna make some progress in this game. So we're gonna finish this game. And hopefully we can finish this game fast enough. That is a creepy image. That we can also play some village tonight. Small chance we won't. That would be okay too. We would just um, pick up village tomorrow. You're just, you just ate, now back to village. All right. Remember when I shot the gun last night and scared myself? That was funny. That was hilarious. <laughs> Dummy Manti. Benji is a loyal wanderer, it's true. Should probably keep the herb so then I can make stuff if I need it. Yeah, I will. Okay. We're good to go. So, we need to find, um, I'll show you. So, this is our safe room. Evie's upstairs, so creepy. Yeah, I know, Creed. I, I, I don't know that we'll have time for village, but we'll see. <laughs> R2, hello by the way. Streamer played a game. <laughs> Waffles with powdered sugar, Philly cheese steaks, the smell of fresh juicy oranges. Nice. Yes, juicy oranges. Yes. Pretty much guitar. Okay, I'm ready. I'm feeling confident and brave today. Where's my elevator? I am feeling good and ready to go. Not scared at all. Nope. <gasps> God damn it! God damn it, Stochastic Guy! I really baited that, didn't I? <laughs> God damn it, you really got me. I was so <laughs> feeling so brave and ready. Ah, oh, god damn it. Stochastic guy, thank you for the five gifted subs. Frick, that was cruel of you. That was simply cruel. Okay, so now. Yeah, I'm using the controller. So now we need to get um, the fuse. Um. So, we don't know where the fuse is, so we haven't been downstairs, so we'll have to go there. That was perfect timing. Did somebody clip it? I hope you did. <laughs> I hope you did. Okay. Um. Uh, did we go downstairs at all? Oh, we've been down here many times, apparently. Recreation room might have a fuse. Wait, we have? 1F, yeah, we have. We just haven't been in the elevator shafts of 1F. I don't know where to find this fuse. So we're getting this so we can go all the way down to, I don't remember. I don't remember what our goal is. We would love to get the machine gun if we could get the captain's cabin locker key. Don't know where that is. And I don't know where the fuse is. Um, hi Dodson, how you doing? <laughs> true, Emperor, Emperor, true, true. Um, there is an enemy like wandering around down there. He's just hiding right now, but I know he's there. Wait, maybe I should go into that room and use that corrosive stuff. We have three. Where is that room? I hate this music! Yeah, let's do it. I wish I had a shotgun. I 
I'm not ready. I'm scared. There better be something in here. Why do they make the audio so terrifying in this game? Heck off with that. Captain's key! Oh, this was a good call. And another remote bomb. Good. You're watching Wally. -E. I wish I was watching Wally. -E. We got the captain's key. Um. If we get gunpowder, we can make that. Cool. We're getting a lot of remote bombs. They're not really the kind of thing I'm tactical enough to use often, but I can try. Find everything? Over at the cupboard. I think I got everything. Under the bed sometimes there's stuff sneakily. Yeah, we got everything. We're good to go. The white cupboard door. I just did. Yeah, I already found what was in there. Can't interact with it. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, yeah, there was, it was this. The chem fluid. There we go. I know, they make the audio so scary. It seems weird. It's a very important part of horror, is the audio. That's okay, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good, no big deal. No big deal. I, I actually, okay, I don't know if any mods are here to hear this. Like, maybe don't risk it, <laughs> but just so you know, I don't mind people saying like, oh, Mandy, you missed this thing before I leave a room. I don't actually mind that because I don't want to have to come back in a scary game. <laughs> so I don't mind that, but I don't know if the mods know that rule. So just beware, the mods might get mad at you. <laughs> don't fault them if they do, because I don't think they know that with this game. So it might not be worth it to risk having the mods angry at you, but yeah, I don't mind if you're like, oh, there was this cool thing in there you, you missed. God, I'm scared today. Oh my God, I'm scared. Whew. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. Miko heard, at least Miko heard. <laughs> Uh, you're not saying a thing at all. <laughs> What's going on in game? Yeah. Uh, you'll fight the mods? No, you will not. You will respect the mod. Applebee's burn the crap out of your ribs. Oh my god, I thought you meant your real ribs. I was like, are you okay? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> oh, your food. Damn. <laughs> all right. Y'all, leave our mods alone. Be nice. Okay, so, all right, chat, you can help me. Where do we think the fuse is? I have absolutely no idea, and I have no, like, hints. We look through here. We have a single lockpick, which is, oh, we should go to the captain's quarters. Can't remember how to get up there, though. How the hell? This place is too confusing. I can't remember. I think there's stairs. Yeah, I think this will take us to the captain's quarter. We should go get the machine gun, shouldn't we? Ugh, I'm scared today, y'all. I can't do this. I'm scared. Oh my gosh. Oof. <laughs> I had to use it to open the door in 1F. Wait, I had to use what? Wait, what, what was that? Hi, Stevie. Oh, congrats. That's awesome. And thank you for three months. Welcome back. Sorry, sorry. I, I didn't fully see that message. Wait, one second. You're getting your second COVID shot tomorrow at 8 a.m. and you can't sleep. Ah, well, thank you for coming to hang out with us. I appreciate your support. Thank you so much, Stevie. I hope you're doing good. And congrats. That's really, really good. Hi, Kelvin. It's a submachine gun. 
I'm not well versed in guns. Same, same. <laughs> so up we go. My gun is loaded, right? Yeah. Hey, Arcane Bunny! Thank you so much for using your Prime Gaming sub to support the channel. I appreciate it. Thank you. And we are one sub closer to turning the lights off. Thank you so much, Bunny. How you doing? Good night, guys. Oh god, when we were in here, there was a liquor type creature that came for me. Ooh. I'm ready. I'm ready this time. I'm not ready, I'm just gonna run. I'm ready this time. No, I'm not, I'm not. Okay. Okay, let's just quickly get this. Remote bomb, machine gun. Hell yeah. P19 rapid fire machine gun. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <sighs> I'm sure it'll go well, Stevie. Congrats on getting the shot though. That's awesome. It's really good. Ew, the sound design really messes me up. Okay. So now, okay, I'm taking suggestions. Where is your guess where the fuse is? We need to find a single fuse. Where do we think we should go? So we were just up here. 3F is this. I looked around pretty recently. Um, I've looked around these floors quite a bit, I'm pretty sure. I guess we could go to the recreation room. That's probably... Yeah, that's probably where we should go. Yeah, your, your guess is it's in the door um, on the stairs. Wait, on the stairs in 1F? Okay, well, I think 1F is right, too. I think it's the recreation room, but we'll check the stairs, too. Your clip is done and it took forever. <laughs> like, of the stream? <laughs> hey, Stevie, thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's go down then. Uh, thank you for gifting us up to Caljax. I really appreciate that. Thank you for your support. Hell yeah. Okay, 1F. There was a monster down here, but we have a machine gun. I think it's not me. I'm ready. It's gonna grab me by the feet. Okay, we're gonna go out this door, then to the left, and... Th what was that? And then all the way down the hallway, and then... Oops. The left, and then all the way down that hallway, and it'll be on the right. And I got, yeah, I got corrosive. I am so scared, cat. It's gonna get me, it's gonna get me. I'm ready, I'm so ready. I hear it. Okay, there's something here. I'm ready for it though. I'm ready for it. <gasps> R2, thank you for the 1500 bits. I better be dead. Thank you. Thank you. I hate this game. I'm just running. Thank you so much for the 1500 bits, R2. Oh, it's freaking dark in here. Oh, I don't like it. Okay, backpack. 
Sorry if I yell a lot when I'm scared. I'm just scared. Something's gonna drop on the roof. No, we're safe. Yes, totally safe. Machine gun ammo. That's good. Woo. Woo. Corrosive stuff. I've got a machine gun. I'll be just fine. No matter what comes for me. I got a machine gun. I wish I had a shotgun, honestly. Because you have to shoot them in the head. Can't open that? Okay. Guess that's all. We didn't get the fuse. So, um... Uh, Boosted, where were you suggesting? You said the the ha the stairwell or something? Do you remember? You'd love to make clothes so they take long to make because they buff a lot depending on the scenes. Oh, yeah. No, that's totally fair. Don't stress about it. I do appreciate you. You're trying, but I'm sure, I'm sure it's all good. That's our gun, yep. That was so funny, Christopher. I know. <laughs> Last night, that was amazing. You had to use it to get the door to open. Oh, just down this hallway. I wonder if I could get it back. That's true. Okay, yeah, let's try it. I need some water. Hmm. Wait, you guys, before we continue, I have a question. <laughs> I can't tell if I'm more scared or more brave after having coffee and feeling more, like, energized. I can't tell if it's worse <laughs> and I'm, like, more panicked and afraid. Or if it's better because I've got more, like, energy. I don't know. <laughs> Do you think it's better to be sleepy or wide awake in a scary game? I really can't tell. <laughs> you think it's going to be alert in a bad way? I feel like I'm alert in a bad way, too. <laughs> yeah, I just had a big cup of coffee. Yeah. I think Christian might be right. Chris Urkel thinks it's better. I seem more confident. Okay, but yeah, is your heart pumping a good thing? I don't know. More brave? Okay. Let's be brave. Let's go. I don't know. Maybe I'm... <gasps> it didn't see me. Oh god, I can't aim! Oh my god. God damn it! God damn it! I can't aim with this thing! Heck! Is this a safe room? Yeah, it is. Heck! I can't aim with this thing! It's too stressful! <laughs> I just freak out! <laughs> I just freak out! <laughs> too much boom, boom, boom! <laughs> Adrenaline does help focus? Interesting, okay. We could have gone back around, but I honestly just wanted to get him gone. I didn't want to have to fight him again. Uh, it depends on your tolerance to adrenaline fight or flight. Caffeine is a stimulant. Fear will increase adrenaline, typically, which is also a stimulant. So too much can increase fear and anxiety. Okay, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I feel like it's both. I feel like the physical anxiety is like way more intense, but the bravery is is there. Like I'm less timid, but I'm more anxious, if that makes sense. Okay, so we got it. Hell yeah. Wait, I, oh I can. Okay, nothing grab me by the feet or I'll scream. Okay, climbed up. We can fix this elevator right here. Okay, let's make sure that our guns are all restocked, reloaded. Took you a while to find it. Yeah, I, for I forgot that we had one in the first place. Oh wait, you guys started a hype train I didn't even realize. Thank you for all the support. I appreciate it, y'all. Thank you. Okay, we got the fuse. Yikes, this doesn't feel good.
Is that where we want to go? I don't even know where we want to go. Go to the bottom level and save Ethan. This is right. Oh, the bottom level is not right. I don't want to be on the bottom level. Grab her by the feet. When you're sleep deprived, you get jumpy. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I feel you. <laughs> Juju. Hi, Sidon. Okay, let's go. All right. I wish I had a shotgun. I like shotguns way more. I just feel like I can aim for the head better. Waiting. Get out of here. You freaking. No! <gasps> Lights off, Mandy. Okay. Fine. <laughs> you want to torture me. I see. I see you want... Oh, wait. Not fully off. I see you want me to cry. We'll turn on the red light. Here we go. I see how it is. My suffering is your joy. I see how it is. <laughs> Thank you for the tip, Emperor. Thank you for the $37 tip. Evening that out. Thank you so much. <laughs> that one really was not fair. She's waiting. Okay. The music is just go, go, go. We're just going, going, going. Let's go save him. Monster is going to drop from the ceiling like in Resident Evil 2. I'm ready. I see... Is that behind me? Where the frick is that shadow? <laughs> Where the... I don't know, is it left or right? Yeah, it was behind me, I think. I can't tell. I can't tell, frick. That's unfair. Was it behind me? God damn it. <gasps> yeah, it was behind me. <gasps> Holy shit, dude, no! Okay, I can't aim with this. Why? What? Oh, he died. Oh my god, I wasted so much ammo on him. Telling you it's gonna kill me. <gasps> Okay, okay. The one that popped up behind me is like really freaking. that's the worst. Oh my god. Yeah, they build up in this music. God damn it. God damn it. I'm not okay. The music is stressing me the frick out. I'm not okay, chat. Sorry if I'm screaming a lot. I'm just trying to cope with my panic. <gasps> I knew you were coming for me. Oh, clutched it. Is it? Oh no, I didn't. Oh no! Okay, clutched it that time. Frick! God, freaking damn it! I hate this game. I'm so panicked. At least we're getting ammo and a lot of bombs. Yeah, we're ready. This, thank God we got the captain's machine gun. Imagine if we didn't. Aimbot! <laughs> oh, you guys are funny. All right, let's go. This music. All right, she's, she's a beast. She is not scared. She is strong and powerful. She got this. No matter what she encounters, she got this. This looks so much like Resident Evil 2. Another remote bomb. Another ammo. Doesn't it? It looks so much like that underground area in Resident Evil 2. It does. But it's a boat. I'm ready for you. God damn it. I knew you were coming back to life. I 
can go through? Oh no! Ah! Damn it! Did we get it? Okay. Oh. <laughs> I forgot about that! Shit! Oh my god! No, that was not okay! I'm... That was not okay! God damn it! I forgot this guy it doesn't stay dead! I can make healing stuff if I need... Oh, I do need, okay. All right, let's go! Hell yeah, we got this. I got this. Ethan! Ethan! Why is she making these sounds? It's scaring me. Do I have to go back and get that freaking thing? From the elevator? Why is she making these sounds? What the hell? This sound is so scary! Why would they do this? Why are they making everything so scary? Oh, that's gross and stuff. Please stop! It's so scary! Why are they... And anybody else freaking out with anxiety? Is it just me? It's like... Okay, should I open that? I don't think I need to. Oh, you terrifying child. I need to do something. Ethan! Ethan. <sighs> Ethan. Yeah, we have a lot of bombs. Game Ethan. over? GG. Please. <laughs> Shh, if only. I know, I know, I know. I'm not going to hurt you. No, we're Mia. Hell, I never would have if I could have helped you. What do you mean? I'm no killer, son. Neither is Marguerite. I don't believe you, psycho. No boy, Lucas. Or even Zoe here. That girl, Evelyn. She did this. What the hell is she? Now, what did she do to you? She infected us with her gift. Crazy. That's what she calls it. I found a, a yeah, busted out tank in the bayou. Oh. He found her. Everything changed after that. So she infects you and then she takes control? No. Not exactly, son. She just... Uh, she forces her way into your mind, your soul. You can't fight back. You are connected to her, and you can't resist the urge to... Daddy! <laughs> oh, Remember when we called him Daddy Mo? a person after that, just like Mia. So Mia sent me that message because of Evelyn. Listen, the, the girl just wants a family of her own. She's the key, all right? You find her. You stop her. Ethan. Free my family. Please. So what do I have to do to the little girl? Kill her or something? Okay, I'm ready. Jump scares. I'm ready. Stay away from him. Why? He doesn't love you. I can make him laugh. Don't, don't hurt him. That is I stressful. I told you I'm not gonna hurt him. Don't do anything. So what? <laughs> You're not my mom. Remember? Come on, let me out of here. What the hell? Can I? Can I be free? <sighs> ew! 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 Mia! 
My hero! Thank you, Mia! There's no time. You have to get out of here and find her. She's behind you! She's behind you! No, no, no! Wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? Saving your life. No, she's behind you. I won't be able to resist for much longer. She's behind you. She's behind you, though. What do you mean? Mia! No! Mia! I thought Mia got... Oh, she got... Okay, I just got that goddamn machine gun. And I had so much loot as him, and now we have to start over again? This game is unfair. I have to start over again with loot? Come on, I just hoarded all that loot, and you're telling me it's worth nothing? Nothing? I had all that end game loot with, with Ethan at the end of the boss fight. I was like stocked up, ready to go, and now I have nothing? This freaking survival game. Okay, you little bitch. God damn it. Yeah. Okay, you little bitch. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just mad. Where are you? Where where's my loot? You, you little little bee stole my uh, guns and everything. God damn it. I don't know what that sound. I know what that sound is. Can't loot anything? We all know what that sound is. That says, it's all your fault. It's all your fault, stupid little girl. Stole my loot. A square up yet. <laughs> Go get her, stay mad, you stupid little bee. Give me my loot. Get the hell back here. Ah! Into the depths, achievement unlocked. Okay, I'm just gonna be brave and angry. That helps be less scary. Ah! I'm gonna get you. You give me my wife back. My wife, please. I got this. Ew. I don't like that. Wait, is that a helicopter? No, it's like a factory. Huh? No, it's a helicopter. Save me. It's a helicopter. Ew. Can I get the hell out of here? Can I get out? This is not okay. I can't get out. I'm like pushing some corpse. Ew, this is the worst. But I hate this shit. I hate this. I hate this. I hate being in the water. Please get me out. 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 Thank you. Isn't this where we fought daddy? Looks like it. Abercrombie salt mine. Oh, nice. We have to go into a salt mine. That's not gonna be scary. What is this? A helicopter. Are they watching us from that helicopter? Psycho stims. Alpha one, this is yes. One. Yes. Anything. A thorough search of the Baker property revealed zero Baker. survivors. Repeat, zero survivors. We did find evidence of a skirmish. Evelyn? Negative. However, we did find several encrypted messages from the Baker's son, Lucas, to an unknown third party. You can probably guess who that was. That's just great. We've had reports using the abandoned mine south of the property. I'm gonna go have a look. They're looking for me? Roger that. We'll Wait, do they think I'm a bad guy? If you encounter Evelyn, Orders are shoot to kill. Yeah, Repeat. kill that little shoot little bee kill. killer. First we save. And my axe. <laughs> okay, this is telling me I've taken Mia's things. And my own. Wait, is it both? Oh my god, is it everything? Can we get some cat jam or whatever the hell hype you got in chat? We got both! 
<laughs> I was just yelling about how we have no loot and we actually got Mia's and we got Ethan's. Yes! I'm so happy. We worked so hard to get all this stuff and now we get all of it. All of it! That's sick! I'm so happy! Oh my god, yes! And we have the grenade launcher. So now we just have to choose a gun. Oh my god, I don't know. What are we even gonna bring? If I could bring the shotgun, I'd be really happy. I love the shotgun. Shotgun. Hell yeah, I'm so happy. Hell yes. Shotgun. Okay, shotgun ammo. Okay. We have a lot of burner fuel. A lot of machine gun ammo. And we have a grenade launcher. Out of these three big guns, what do you guys want? Machine gun, burner, or grenade launcher? Probably the grenade launcher, right? Okay, we should probably grab first aid. Lockpick. Let's grab these and see what we can get. I doubt we'll need the corrosives. I'm gonna put that away for now. I'm not ang- Okay, no, I'm still angry for Mia. <laughs> Hi, Jose. A machine gun burner. That That's all you guys don't think I should get the grenade launcher? What's this? 44 mag, a lot of kickback and stopping power. What's this one? Stabilizer, reloading speed increases indefinitely, and this one I already got. 44 mag. We don't have a lot of ammo for that, and we don't really need it, so maybe the stabilizer. Yeah, let's get that. Five. Oh yeah, the bombs too, okay. Now we just have to choose a gun. Oh, wait. Oh, it's on myself. Damn. I thought it was on a gun. I put that on myself. Grenade, more damage, less ammo. Uh, machine gun, less damage, easier to spray and pray. See, I don't really like spray and pray. It, it doesn't really work for me. <laughs> I just waste ammo and I miss everything. Hi, <laughs> 360. Yeah, I, I don't think I'll go for the machine gun. It's a bit tough for me. I like to just like wait patiently and then get one big shot. Maybe Caldrax. Hi, Ty. Happy weekend, right? Happy weekend. Okay, we want the bombs. We have a lot. Okay, we should definitely get a handgun and some handgun ammo. And yeah, should we get the grenade launcher? Let's do it. Grenade launcher, flame rounds. Okay, so, uh, flame rounds. Let's see how we make those. Oh, it's not yet weekend? Oh, almost. Neuro, grenades a powerful poison that affects the nervous system. Sets a wide area ablaze. What's better? Y'all tell me what's better. Flame rounds or neuro rounds? Take everything, right? Two hours, nice. One of the knives, oh yeah, thank you. Um, yes, a knife is good as well. Flame is good? All right, we'll make flame. So we need solid fuel and strong chem. Wait, how do we make, um? Shotgun shells? Oh, we don't make shotgun shells. That sucks. Okay. Uh, solid fuel and strong chem fluid. Okay. Okay, 
Wait, and then we, I would love to make enhanced handgun ammo, but we just use that, so we can't. Um, burner fuel, we don't need. Knife, wait, which knife? Take your pick, chat. Knife or survival knife? Folding or in, for enthusiasts? Take your pick. Survival seems strong. All right, survival it is. Okay. Um, and we got strong first aid med. Okay. Anything else? We're good. You prefer basic? <laughs> more healing? We won't have much inventory space though if we bring more healing. Ah, yeah, whatever. Let's bring it. We can come back and make more. If we need more, we just make more when we come back. Hey! So, hi! Y'all, can we get a QT salute in chat? Louvine, thank you so much for subbing. Oh, welcome on into the Comfy Cozy QT Club. Thank you so, so much for supporting the channel. I hope you're enjoying the stream. Thank you for being here. Thank you so, so much. All right, let's save and let's take down this little bee. <laughs> okay, lab, swamp, ship. So what is this? Swamp? Swamp. We just came from the ship. Now we're going to the lab, I guess. There's helicopters watching us. Okay. So. We got a shotgun. Let's make sure it's fully reloaded. You seem to have missed a backpack. Wait. Oh, we just got a backpack in a room we had to use a corrosive for. Do you mean like in your own playthrough? All right, grenade launcher, nice. And then, oh yeah, those are high potency rounds. And then this one is regular. And then these remote bombs. So we place them and then we blow them up. Okay, let's go. I got my shotgun, I feel safest with that. Let's go to the lab, I guess. Oh no, we're at some mines. All right. I'm not gonna let this audio scare me. I am a brave girl. I am brave. I am a brave Ethan. It's really dark, Ethan. Ethan, it's dark. How come I can't place it? How come I can't place it? What the hell? Why won't it let me place it, you guys? Oh, I have to put it on the ground like that. Got him! Got him! Die, stupid. Got him! <laughs> that is satisfying. Get destroyed! <laughs> ha ha ha. That is good stuff. Oh, there's still another two. Get ready! Get wrecked! That... That's a dream come true! Here's another one. Gotta hear... There's another one! Forgot! Damn it! 
Okay, okay. My god, what? My god, why is that button? Go in. Oh, okay. Hi, Chaotic. Welcome, welcome. And Theodomus, thank you for the energy. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Alright, let's go. Imagine going from pistol and running to blowing them up casually. Oh, underground we go. We gotta find Evelyn. Can't wait. Can't wait. I'm not scared of this sound. Are you, chat? What a bunch of wussies. <laughs> I'm not scared. You're scared. Let's go. Evelyn, get over here. Give me my wife. Give me my wife, Evelyn. That's right. Yeah, take that. I wish I had... Wait, you're still alive? I wish I had endless shotgun ammo. I live for this shotgun. Okay. Lucas has been down here or what? They know you're well equipped. They're like throwing enemies at you. I thought this box was like making our guy have some PTSD. Wait, how do I equip my knife? Uh. Wait, I want my knife. How come I can't use it? No, I can't use my knife. I didn't put it in the right spot, so now it's just not usable. How? How do I do that? Yeah, I have to put it in the right slot, but I'm on... I don't know how. How? How do I do that? I don't think I can do that here. X to move. Oh, thank you. Okay, we're gonna replace it with this. Thank you. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Beautiful. Ooh. Machine gun ammo. This place is scary. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This is pretty freaking scary. Aw, oh, I hope you had a good sleep, Penguin. I'm sure you did. Okay, Lucas... Lucas is not setting traps for me. Why would there be bombs? I don't believe it. What was that for? It was cozy. It's a dream. When you put people to sleep with your comfiness, you should feel proud of yourself. Okay. Feeling brave. Feeling brave. We got this. Feeling brave. Just a tunnel full of nasty, creepy crawlies. We're good. We're good. We're totally good. Jump down. No problems here, Ethan. Just following this creepiest child into some terrifying caverns. Okay. Bye, Ty. Go this way. Jesus Christ, that was so scary. Oh my god. They rush you in this. Give me shotgun shells in this game. Holy crap. 
Please give me shotgun shells in here. I don't know what I'm gonna do when my shotgun is out of ammo. Okay, let's switch this knife again, cause we might have to. Oof. I got this. Thank you. Where did they even come from? This is a bad idea. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. I I, I wanted to save my good ammo <laughs> when I need it. So I guess that's what we'll do. <laughs> okay, we're gonna throw this through there. This reminds me of, um, what game was that that we played? What game was that? We played, uh, was it Until Dawn? And you had to like crawl around underground and stuff? I think it was Until Dawn actually, there was a part like this. Um. Or with something else. I don't know. <laughs> there is a part like this? Yeah, 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 okay. Uh. Damn it, this is so annoying. I didn't, I just assumed only Lucas would rig these to troll you, so I didn't even listen. God damn it. What's Lucas doing over here? God damn it, Lucas. Dude, man, I thought the game was over. Freaking Lucas. God damn it. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. You bullies. Nice, a lab. Nice. Nice, this isn't scary. <laughs> Heck, I'm boosted. Heart go thump, putty thump. Boosted. Thank you for the $15 tip. God damn it. As I was saying, this isn't scary, Boosted. You're really making me look bad here. <laughs> thank you for the tip. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Okay. <sighs> Thanks, you guys. It's been about a week since my head's been clear and back to normal, and she still thinks she's got me. You guys really need to work on fixing that. Not only does she look like a little kid, but she's about as stupid as one, too. Mom and Dad are still totally under, though. I was wondering, is this whole family obsession something you guys programmed into her? It's kind of messed up. Uh, Mia is still somewhere between Evie, Lala Land, and reality. She gets pretty violent, so I locked her up in a cell. Interesting. This is probably Lucas or something. I thought maybe Evelyn would get mad since Mia's her favorite and all, but she doesn't seem to care. She actually goes and visits her sometimes. She thinks Mia's her mommy. Like I said, your bioweapon is messed up. Evelyn's family obsession is getting out of hand. She's making everyone kidnap more and more assholes off the street to add to her freak show of a family. That's insane. Maybe she's getting tired of Mia not coming around, but it's a pain in the butt for me because I gotta clean up the mess whenever someone new comes along. By the way, Evie's looking sick or something. Her skin is getting all wrinkly and she's getting gray hair. So she's a bioweapon. Um, uh, is that supposed to happen? It's almost like she's getting old all of a sudden. That's weird. Yeah, that's really weird. 
Interesting, okay. Oh, that's funny, Christian. <laughs> also, hi, Jack. Welcome. And hi, Lateralis. Thanks for being here, y'all. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Yeah, that timing on <laughs> Pusin's tip was hilarious. Thank you for the clip. What is this? Infection report. Well, we can't really read it. Oh. This report details the symptoms that appear when the bacterium that grow inside of the E-series infects a human. Be sure to read this document thoroughly before dealing with E-series weaponized acids, hereafter referred to as mold. Interesting. Okay. Okay, so we're in the lab. Ten minutes after dose, death. That's, this is all uh, Evelyn. 10 minutes after dose. E necrotoxin, E series dosage test. Five minutes after dose, vomiting. I'm scared to go over there. 12 minutes after dose, cell calcification. Okay. Dose of what? Oof. Are we a no swear stream? Ah, uh, no, not really. Just, just try not to drop f bombs. Keep it wholesome. The rules are below if you want to read them all. Um, that seems scary. E necrotoxin destroys cells of any subject based on the E series bioweapon model. Used only for disposal of E series assets. The toxin uh, must first be stipulated, stimulated before use. To do this, by do this by placing a sample of an E-series cell into the necrotoxin ta ta container. That's creepy. Okay, we made it. E necrotoxin. Now we gotta go stab that little girl with it, <laughs> I guess. Oh, that's okay, Emmy. It's really no big deal. A lot of people don't, don't read them. I honestly don't read a lot of people's rules before I say hi. It's, it's no big deal. It's all good. But if you're ever wondering, you can type exclamation mark rules or just read below the stream. Yeah, it's no big deal, but hi, Emmy. Yeah, exactly, Lumi, yeah. I, I try not to, like, I'm not really harsh about it. I just try not to that much. Read this. This project was instigated in 2000 as one of several concepts for the company's next best, next generation experimental battlefield superiority initiative. Working with technical assistance from HCF to develop bioweapon for neutralizing combatants on mass with minimal direct contact. Wow. Next Bass was later folded and all its assets diverted to this project. What makes this project markedly different from conventional weapons is its ability to turn enemy combatants into allies. That's so messed up. Converting hostile elements into willing servants. Can you imagine? <laughs> that would be so unethical. That would be illegal. Since this effectively eliminates the cost of not only prisons of war handling, but also combat itself, it's no wonder we had the blank and even blanks, uh, blank organization chomping at the bit to get on board. The project would never have existed were it not for the discovery in blank of blank, the remarkably progressed vicarant solution fungus that we commonly term the mutamycete. Okay. All right. Ban yourself for 10 minutes. Y'all, can we get a QT salute in chat for Bewitch? Enjoy your ban. See you in 10. Mods shall ban you. Goodbye. The fabrication method for each bioweapon was to introduce the mutamisa... How we say that? Uh, genome to the pre-stage for human embryo. Damn. And perform cultivate. I can't read. Cultivation in a controlled environment over a period of 38 to 40 weeks. The resultant organisms were referred to as candidate specimens and graded based on usability from the impractical and faulty series A through D to the perfected E series. Ah, so it's perfected. So there were different series in previous games, right? This one's perfected. 
A common appearance was selected for the bioweapons, that of a roughly 10-year-old girl to ensure ease of blending in with urban refugee populations. That's so creepy. Why would they do that? <laughs> no, that's not super ease of blending in. To give, like, an average mother-looking, calm, peaceful woman, not creepy child. The first E-series specimen named Evelyn has proven capable of secreting the mutamacete from her tissues at will. It is also of note Evelyn's mutamacete imposes a profound control of her body and mind when introduced into a host organism. We still have a lot to learn about the mechanism by which Evelyn achieves and maintains this control, but the working theory is that the vector is similar to the auto-inducer ferums used for quorum sensing in Pseudomas bacteria, for sure. Evelyn's control is exerted in a series of discrete stages. One is hallucination. After infection, the subject sees Evelyn, even though she's not there and hears her voice. Um, auditions and infected subjects throughout the stages reveal that phantom Evelyn appears in a normal young girl. Um, oh, to be a normal young girl, sometimes desiring companionship or ass assistance. As time progresses, she begins making more and more extreme demands, including self-mutilation and attacks on other people. That's so scary. Oh my god. The psychological shock this induces helps to break down the mind's natural barriers to Evelyn's brainwashing effect. And by the time mental control is achieved, the mutamacete infection has progressed throughout the body's cells. So the body, blah, 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 blah. Very much so, yes. Very much so. It's, uh... Yeah. It's messed up for sure. And they're using little girl. You're right, because people will probably want to take care of her. Yeah, that's true, Levine. That makes sense. Oh, God. That's creepy. Your loss, basically it just described how, um, like what they used Evelyn for. She's a bioweapon and they use her in combat and in, they use her in combat so that their own soldiers don't have to go fight in combat so their own people can be safe. And they use her in combat and when she takes down the other enemies, she also like makes them part of her army so that they don't have to worry about like what to do with the enemies like prisoners of war and stuff like that. And so they not only beat their enemies, they also take their enemies onto their own side and mind control them and make them super duper powerful. And then it just described how um, people like hallucinate when she takes control of them and she makes them do all sorts of stuff, including hurting themselves. Yeah, it's messed up. Super interesting lore for sure. And it also was saying how like in previous games, I think you guys have mentioned, there's like a D series and even like earlier series of this like bioweapon um and a bioweapon is just a type of like how do you explain that biological weapon <laughs> so it's made for like warfare and combat and it's not like a gun or like a weapon it's like biological you know so yeah interesting very interesting What are other examples of bioweapons? Are there any that, like, are allowed or do exist? Bio biological substance used to inflict harm and or suffering. Are there any other biological weapons that are allowed? Oh, okay, things like that. Okay. So, like, gases. Okay. Like, mustard gas, yeah. A lot of them aren't allowed anymore, though, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so anything biological. Cool. Mostly viruses, but there's been parasites in this game as a virus. Cool. Cool. <laughs> you guys are funny. They're loud, yeah. They exist, but they're strictly prohibited for use anywhere in the world. That's so interesting, yeah. Biological weapons are banned per the Biological Weapons Convention. So all of them are banned. That's good. Very good. <laughs> it's very interesting how in the modern day, like... War is technically legal. It's technically legal in the world to go to war and to fight people in combat. But there are actually still laws and rules that govern warfare. Like, isn't that pretty messed up? Like, in the modern day, especially when, like, actual warfare in a lot of places is not common, it's pretty insane that there's actually, like, <laughs> rules to govern something as, like, absurd as warfare. It's insane. 
but they still get used yeah exactly it's not like it's um yeah isn't it basic, basic history well yeah but not all of us are like grade 12 and remember history class super easily it's very interesting to talk about stuff like this Yeah, very interesting. <laughs> to see. Chemical weapons are definitely more common and still used, even though they're banned, I see. So they just get in, like, yeah, very interesting. You may kill other people, but not like this, but like this. Exactly, yeah, it's very strange how that's actually still, you know, when you really think about it, it's, it's really strange. It makes sense, of course, but it's strange. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Emperor. It's sad for sure. There's these weapons being made by terrorists but never are used. Exactly, yeah. Modern day concerns are people artificially mutating viruses for enhanced infectiousness. Yeah, immune resistance, lethality, be able to be undetected. Yeah, exactly. It's weird, and the thing is, there are technic there technically isn't uh, really a way that it's being enforced. Exactly, yeah, that that's what I was thinking. I mean, it's not like there's like a government of the world that enforces things. There are things in place that kind of function like that, but not. They don't really have that much power. Yeah, it's interesting. Very interesting. There is a UN, yeah, but they're extremely restricted in how they can function and, yeah, do stuff. They can only condemn things, but at, but rarely can do anything exactly, yeah, sadly. Yeah, th this kind of stuff is super interesting. Obviously, the game, like, wants you to think about these things, which is really cool. Um, I took one political science course in university, and it touched on topics like this, and I find it really interesting. I, I, I do really wish I took more of those courses, but they're, they're interesting to, to know about the way these things work in our society in the modern day. You want to be part of the government of the world of possible? That's so cool. You think of stuff like this game, uh, oh, sorry, hold on, I missed your message. Stuff like this game could happen if they were like, bioweapons are cool to use. Exactly, yeah, no, that that's why they're not allowed. It's just not good for anyone. <laughs> it's really not. Mm-hmm. Oh, you did a lot of courses on this in the Marines. That's very interesting. Makes sense why you would. Look at us getting educated because of hurting a little girl with a shotgun and assault, man. Right? Yeah, well, th this game, you know, their lore, they intentionally, like, you know, want to stir up these kind of ideas, right? It's cool. The Geneva Convention covers a lot of it. If countries break their rules and engagement, they risk having several superpowers side with their enemy. Yeah, exactly. Makes sense. Finns are forced to go to war, and if you don't, you go to jail or double the amount of time compared to time in army and civilian service. Oh, wow. That's crazy, Miko. How long do you have to go? How long do you have to go in army versus how long do you have to go in civilian service? That's crazy. I didn't actually know in Finland you were required to go into the military for a period of time. Uh, Germany was the number one place for chemical warfare. Yeah, I killed a lot of people and also, um, but also advanced medicine. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's, it's considered unethical bioweapons. Um, six months in an army, one year in civilian service. I don't know what civilian service is, but I would probably choose that too. <laughs> That's not too bad though, six months in an in, in army versus one year civilian service. That's not too bad. Hey, hey, creepy music! Hey, awkward! Thank you! So creepy. <laughs> Awkward white male, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it. Wait, were you playing Village? You were, right? How is it? What do you think of it? Hello, hello. Hope you're doing good. Um, thank you for the shout outs, mods. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Welcome on in, Awkward White Male. Good to see ya. Hope you guys were having fun. We're talking about biological warfare. <laughs> Cause of this game, you know? You know? Hey, some hype. Thank you. Awkward 54 praise. We appreciate you. Y'all coming in a QT salute in chat. How was your stream, Awkward? Thank you for 13 months. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Hey, 
Thank you. Yeah, we're comfy talk about biological warfare. Yeah, we're going to play eight when we're finished this. Whatever, whenever that is. Um, Finland has been criticized of breaking human rights with um, people being obligated to go into the military. It's pretty common in a lot of countries to be forced to. But I could, I could see why it's not fair. Well, thanks for coming by, Link. Sorry, I'm just scrolled up in chat. Okay, Village is ridiculous. Is it, <laughs> excuse me, is it really scary? I hope you had fun, awkward. All right, let's continue. Wait, a sip of water. We had a good chat. Now let's go find this little girl. All right. Oh, a safe room. That's flame rounds. All right. I think we're good. I wish I had more shotgun shells. The game thinks we don't want shotguns. It doesn't ever give me shotgun shells, but I love the shotgun. I love it so much. And why doesn't it let you create shotgun shells either? That's so unfair. Ah, oh, it's my favorite gun in the game. Damn it. It's not scary, it just has ridiculous moments. Interesting, Lobog, interesting. You think national service should be a thing? It would educate a lot of people who can look after themselves, how to clean cook, keep healthy, and defend themselves in a lot of respect. What's national service, like working in the military? Uh, or, I, I don't know what that consists of. I mean, it is good to teach people those things, but I don't necessarily agree that it should be like required to join military for all people. We're fortunate in America to not have mandatory service, but you think that some people could use a bit of training and opportunity to see the world. Interesting, very interesting. Yeah, I, I feel like, I'm just glad that that's optional. <laughs> I'm just very glad that that's optional. I feel like we all go to school for like 12 years. Our education should teach us all the you know basic things we need to know. We shouldn't have to like, go do something absurd for a big chunk of our lives just to learn things that we could have otherwise been taught earlier or taught by, you know, our families. Yeah. Exactly, yeah, Louvine. I, I feel like there are other ways of learning all those skills other than just joining, like, military stuff. That, that would be pretty extreme. Geneva says not during wartime or, or non-combat individuals. American thinks it means poison gas. Sorry, what? Geneva says not during wartime or non-combat individuals. Oh, you're talking about biological warfare, right? American thinks it means poison gas. Geneva Convention states chemicals that are toxic. Police think if it's in the air, it won't kill them. I'm not really sure I follow Bark. You move out of the country if it introduced mandatory military service. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Exactly, how to manage personal finances. In countries like mine, where they make you do your own taxes, maybe teach us what the hell that means. <laughs> like, so much stuff, yeah. You're glad you're not forced to, forced to go to the military. You don't want to ever have to hurt others, yeah. You know, you would have benefited greatly if you are if you were required to serve. Your 18 dumb self needed guidance. Interesting, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Hi, um, I don't know how to say your name, but hello and welcome. Padati? Why is it? All right. Let's go. We are ready. Wait, did I save? I think so. You know, the taxing was just the US. Uh, I'm in Canada. It's the same here, unfortunately. I think it's probably a little bit more straightforward with Canadian taxes, but not by that much, honestly. You think people are not understanding what the service is? You're not forced to hurt others or go towards a basic service education? They 
teach people how to drive and other key skills. Yeah, like I said, I don't I don't know what that is, but if it involves like military stuff, like military training and combat, I would say it's not necessary. Um, if you're like forced to go to some kind of school that teaches you how to take care of yourselves, I could see how that would be beneficial, but why not just add that into like ob obligatory grade school? Right? Why add that? Like, why graduate, but then also have to go to something else afterwards if it's if it's something that can be taught in school, right? TurboTax is a thing in Canada, and it's a lifesaver for sure. You feel like easy entry level jobs focusing on basic. Hold on, I missed your message. Focus on basic daily work such as cooking, cleaning, etc. can help people learn about those things. That's so true, Priest. I actually had to teach a lot of my coworkers when I used to work at a coffee shop. I had to teach them a lot of basic skills. Like a lot of them, it was their first job ever. I had to teach them how to wash dishes, how to wash floors, um, like food safe things about how to not let food go bad. So jobs actually do teach those skills as well too. It's an interesting point for sure. Yeah. Yeah, but I do think that, like, if it's something that, you know, society agrees people need to learn and be taught, why not just throw it into education? That's the point of education. Yeah, cleaning and cooking can be taught in school, exactly. We had some cooking, but if it was at such a young age that, like, you don't really pay attention at that age. <laughs> so, you know. I think there should be... I don't know. It's a very interesting subject for sure. The Navy taught you how to make coffee. Nice. It's hard to get any job. Mm. <laughs> in Sweden, it's a small amount of all your taxes that goes to the military. Uh, you pay 33% in taxes. But since you do that, you can study to become a nurse and not pay for education. That's amazing. Yeah, it's really amazing. You think modern parents are failing kids? Of course, yeah. I mean, a lot, a lot of the thing about like education. Oh my God, no, that's so mean. Who is it? Such a cozy stream. Who is it? Listen, you actually enjoy our suffering so much. That was cruel. <laughs> That got all of us. Oh my god. We said thank you for the tip. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Oh my god. Damn it, Boosted. <laughs> Damn it. Thank you for your support. Appreciate it. But yeah, um, all I was trying to say is that like it is definitely important to know that a lot of this should fall on parents, but the like education and systems that plan education, they plan in such a way that it can account for parents that aren't good parents and parents that are good parents. Like, things should be taught in school if people need to know them. And you shouldn't expect that all kids are going to have good parents. Because not all kids have parents that will teach them things. Um, or, you know, kids will have parents who are uneducated and don't teach them the right things. So, education systems, if they're, you know, well done, factor those things in. So, it's not really right to say parents should teach their kids because... If we all had great parents, we'd all be great adults, but not everyone is fortunate enough to have great parents, right? So that that's why education is so important as a system. I know, very kind, but also very mean. <laughs> Thank you, Boosted. A few people followed after that. You guys loved that jump scare. <laughs> Uh, I know the education system is totally archaic like it, I'm sure it's gonna get overhauled in time like some of the just like some of the things that are taught are just like you think about how much effort they take to like teach you um, like whatever that kind of garbage trash math stuff that you learn where you have to use a calculator and you use like sine cos tan crap like that like that is not easy education and it's also useless af unless you go into some kind of field where you need that you know what i mean like yeah logarithms and trigonometry like take that amount of like hard study and work and teach us something useful <laughs> that's all we're asking is that really so bad like we don't all need to know that it's just a fact we don't <laughs> we don't at all 
god. If school didn't teach you that you shouldn't swing a penny in a power outlet. God damn it. Exactly, priest. Yeah, for low-income families, it can be especially difficult. Yeah, exactly. I mean, education has a very important role in, in many cases, but that especially is why. That's awesome, Christian. Good for you. That's awesome. I learned how to cook and clean from my parents. I learned absolutely nothing about finances from my parents. Absolutely nothing about that. I had to teach myself. You're not always going to have a calculator with me. Really? Really? <laughs> Are you sure about that? I love how outdated that is. <laughs> there are probably teachers who say that these days, and you're just like, I I don't know. I don't know. No. That's funny. You've been doing programming. Yeah, I know, and it's been useful for you, but does everyone go into programming? <laughs> is it not safe to say that you would have been fine learning that in your first year of university? <laughs> Or first, or your three years out of your five years of university? Definitely. Like, if you need to have, like, that kind of education, it should be in your studies for that. If it's not generally useful, why why bother teaching it in school? <laughs> Thank you, Zombified. Oh my god, Yeti, that's so awful. You had a friend who didn't know how to cook until you taught them. Yeah. And they couldn't make anything. Then they wouldn't have ever learned to cook. I know. Yeah, it really sucks. School should teach things. Or at least have, like, free government programs that say, like, hey, if you don't know how to cook, um, if you're below, like, 30... No, if you're of any age and you want to learn how to cook, here's some basic cooking classes. Like, imagine how cool that would be. That would be really good. Anyway, let's play, you guys. She knows nothing about seven. Sorry, what, Jimmy? We're playing Resident Evil Seven. We're pretty close to the end, um, and we are just having a chat. Ha. Huh. You would say that learning math and science teach you how to study, but like you can learn how to study by learning useful things. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, there, there's so many ways around it. I agree. There are really, like, even learning the most useless crap teaches you really good skills. But, like, why not learn those skills while you're also learning something very useful, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, tell people who take more time to learn and, and military members with PTSD be left behind because if it isn't fast, they end up in jail, which is a private company. Or is a passion to fix these problems? Interesting. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of, sadly, a lot of problems in our society that get neglected. Uh, it's partly in the medical field. You learn finances from your dad, but you know a ton of people who aren't good at financing. Yeah, for sure. You love to wash this as an e-cake, and you come back, and we're talking about this. Yeah, it's an interesting conversation. We, on this stream, are open to having interesting conversations. We learned last year humanity won't come through if COVID was zombies. Yeah, so true. So true. Mm-hmm. Yay! Education system is archaic. Exactly, yeah. At the least, they should limit so many theoretical studies and focus on teaching practical studies. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think there should just be a better balance. It's just, it's just old school. You're trying to be like me. <laughs> Shut up, Mo. <laughs> We're just chatting. I am not sharing wise, wise knowledge and, and... <laughs> Being all intelligent and smart and all that. <laughs> I'm just reading chat. Stupid. <laughs> yeah, it's great, Dizzy. It's super interesting. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I hate you. <laughs> all right, all right. Time is up. Chat's patience is done. No, I'm ready to go too. All right, we just saved twice, I'm pretty sure. Kill Evelyn with the neurotoxin. And we're good to go. You guys ready? Back to killing monsters? Let's go. First, we gotta see that this door does not open. Ew, I hate that sound. Unacceptable, no view. <laughs> true, Mo. True, true. Yeah, Yeti, exactly. <laughs> Education break was brought to you by the little bee that stole our loot. But we got it all back, so that was good. Wait. We've been here. Oh, that was nice. Enhanced handgun ammo. Oh, we were on the other side, right? Yeah. Where's our little bobblehead? I hate this game. Y'all. Alright, let's go. I want a refund. <laughs> wow, you guys are trolls. Okay, things are gonna come launching at us. I'm ready. I'm ready. Is this where we want to go? Is this even the right way? I can't see anything. Wait, is it not the right way? Wait, it's actually the wrong way? Wait, I was trolling. It's not the right way? Okay. Oof, that scared me. What the hell? Okay, let's put these things away. I think I can go through that door. Can I use a bomb to open this door? Oh. 44 mag ammo. Let me put that away too. Sorry, my inventory is limited, so. Chat help, where do I go? I'm confused. Oh, back out that way into the left, I guess. I have to go back the other way, okay. Probably Sam, based on this. Yeah, probably. Okay, so this is just a dead end. We have to go back. Sucks. Might as well save, get us a quick save. Yep. Onward, let's go. You'll never be a su surprised by another virus. Yeah, this is definitely the start of something. For sure, it's not gonna be the only one. Looked at all these. Yep. We've done in here, right? Did I look over there? Oh my god, we didn't read this, but I, I won't, I won't. Um, she has a lack of love in her quarantined upbringing. Parents' love. QLF once you go down the stairs. No, no, I tried. It wouldn't let me. You can see in the map um, Over here, it's just blocked off. So I think we have to go right and then go left up there It's the only place I can think of Unless there's somewhere else so Let's get out of here You check the little corner down there. Wait, did I wait you guys can tell me if I'm if I'm lost isn't that little white thing a door? Oh. Oh, damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you, guys. I thought I... Thought I knew, but I didn't. Oh, thank you, Mo! Okay, wait, you guys. Now's a good time for a break. We just had a break, I know. It'll be fast. I'm gonna go get some tea and take a quick washroom break. And then we know the way, because chat helps. I love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out today, by the way. Really appreciate it. Sorry, we probably won't start a uh, village today, but we'll start it tomorrow. Hope you guys are enjoying the stream. Thank you for your company. Come join Discord if you want. I'll be a re. You guys enjoy this. We're, we're low on shotgun ammo, which is really sucky, but... Oh god, yeah, historical. <laughs> That's awful. Okay, everybody. You hyped? You ready to get scared? We're close to the end, so we know it's gonna be horrible. Oh, right here. Yeah, I totally missed this nasty corridor. Not okay with me. Evelyn, you get your stupid little girl butt out here. Ew! Ew, not a swampy place, not a swampy place, not a swampy place, please. Hi, Panasola, how you doing? Oh my god, Yoda, that was the most terrifying. The ship was the absolute worst. Although the house was pretty bad, too. There's definitely something in this water. What beautiful music. This isn't creepy at all. Very beautiful. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, something's going to jump out, but I'm going to I'm going to clutch it with my shotgun and we're good. Let's go. Just go. Just goddamn run! Stop going so slow! Stop it! Stop it! Ah, I'm scared! Oh god, she's gonna be here. Oh god, this is gonna be scary. I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. Oh god, she's <laughs> I told you! This goddamn girl, I knew it! I've played enough horror game. No, no, please! No, please! Don't try to kill me! Let me go! <gasps> oh no, I missed! God damn it! That was successful. Hell yeah! Hell yeah. All right, all right. This little hoe wants to kill me? Stupid little girl. <gasps> Take my money. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Boosted. You're so freaking generous. Thank you for being so generous and making us all absolutely horrified. <laughs> um, by the way, if you guys don't know, that these are our jump scare alerts. Um, ha <laughs> They're nice and scary. <laughs> that one really scared me. Oh my god, Boosted. Thank you for that extremely, extremely generous tip. Thank you. I'm gonna close the um, goal because I, I think we smashed those goals thanks to you. Thank you very much. Not that you guys can't keep using the jump scare alerts. Feel free. But I'll just keep the goals off. Oh my god. Thank you again, Boosted. And Awkward, thank you so much for getting us up to Scribbles. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Scribbles, welcome in. You're a cutie. Welcome to the club. Okay, right, we gotta run. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. They're gonna pop out. No, get the hell away from me, you terrifying little girl! God damn it, I hate this game! God damn it, I hate this game! Please! Oh, god freaking damn it, I hate this game. Where? I'm running, I'm running. <gasps> Oh, move! He's alive? I shot 
him in the face with my shotgun and he's alive. Can you tell me how that's fair? What's in here? I'm being pursued. Do you guys hear ticking? Two shotgun shells left. We gotta do this. How much health? Oh, yeah, okay. We gotta do it. Yeah, we're gonna smash boxes, but I wanted to make sure that the. YOLO. Shotgun shells! <gasps> Praise. Shotgun shells! <gasps> they know I love my shotgun. Oh, thank God. I missed a box below. Really? I don't think I want to go back. I don't think I want to. Oh, get the hell away from me! Get the hell away from me! Get the hell away from me! This game is cursed! Get the hell away from me! Reload, 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 reload. He's alive. Come on, I only have three more. Please. <gasps> I'm so scared. I, yeah, don't. <gasps> what the fu- What the What? Okay. 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 This is not good. This is not good. Oh. Did we hit him? He ducked! He goddamn ducked! He ducked! No! Oh my god, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. He died! I keep missing! Oh my god. No, stay dead. Okay, we won't try to go for a headshot then. This guy's dodge master. Ow! Hurry up! Dead? Oh, crap! God damn it, I hate this game! God damn it! <sighs> oh my god. Okay, I wasted my shotgun shells on those guys because I was panicking. I totally wasted them. I regret that so much. Please give me shotgun shells. Endless shotgun shells. Please. So regretful that I wasted them. How many times I say I hate this game with? Shotgun shells. Chem fluid. I wish it was shotgun shells. Never mind. 
Oh, there's a box where I killed them too. Okay, good. No, no, we're not doing the DLC too. We're here somewhere? Where? Oh, probably up the stairs, right? Let's go see what's up these stairs. No. I got it already? Oh, okay. I just want shotgun shells. Shotgun shells! That was so stressful. God damn it. Okay. Let's go. If we need to make healing stuff, we can. Okay. Alright. I'm ready. Hi, Zimrick, how you doing? These boxes aren't blowing up now. Well, they actually did like an hour ago. So that was great. Hello, Jesus, welcome. This game is torture. Oh god, something bad's gonna happen. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, something bad's gonna happen. I don't wanna go through that. Okay, little girl's gonna be waiting on the other side of it. For sure. You ready? You ready, little girl? Little girl's coming for us. I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, for now we're okay. Okay, oh, save. Okay, we should probably save before hitting the boxes. Woo! VR, oh my god. That would not be okay. Well, for now, we have no shotgun shells, I guess. Oh, no, we do. But we'll just use it. <laughs> Machine gun ammo and strong first aid. There's no box to get our loot, which is not good. Whew. Hi, miss. Pop it in to say hi before you sleep. It's been a long day. I hope you're all well. Even though this game is scare fest, it's really scary. But hopefully you had a good day and we're having fun. Good night, miss. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, our inventory is really full. I think I should just make healing stuff just to empty our inventory. Yeah, I think we will. Really full. Hmm. Yeah, when we're done with the mine, we get the map. No, sadly, what that tells us is we're not done with the mine. What's the point? Wait, what is the point? <laughs> All right, let's go. <sighs> okay, I breathe. Thank you. Oh, we have a lot of strong ammo. Let's use this for now. Little girl, I'm ready. Oh, grandma's chair. Oh, god damn it. A doll. This looks like those little American girl dolls. There's something we need to see or just... Ready to get terrified. Looks like the girl. Okay. It's too quiet, guys. <gasps> ah, I hate this game. 
Oh, it looks like this place. It's not here. It's I remember. Gone. It's gone. That scared me. <laughs> this game. There it is. So Mia had been here before. Yeah. Why does it look like that same place? Oh, cause it is underground. Their house under be okay beneath their house leads to the silver mines. That's insane. Yikes. E001, that's the girl. Patient 001. Oh, it's the grandma. E001. Okay. I know, right, repping? And it works every time. Doesn't matter how many times the little girl is the main character. Thank God. I didn't want to go back there. <laughs> Whew. Feeling a little sick. I'm so scared, guys. Okay, ready to be jump scared. We're going into a building. Okay. Are you guys good? Everybody okay? Chad, are you okay? Everyone good? Uh, yeah, true, Tarman, true. Oh, God, not the stairs. No, not the stairs. God, this is the house. I don't want to be in the house. Please, not back in the house again. Please. God damn it. Where it all began, yeah. I killed the family. They're all immortal. They're immortal. I'm, I'm, I'm brave. I'm strong. I'm brave. I can do this. This is where Mia ran up the stairs to us. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Move it, soldier. Okay, let's go. Hello? Anybody home? Nope. Sadly. Okay, let's go, just fast! Oh, sh That's where she attacked me. This is your fault. It's your fault. Why am I seeing this? So now we're seeing why. You shouldn't have yeah. done that. Okay, I see. And yeah, this is the throwback. It's fucking hard. Does it want to be my daddy? Then he can die. Now it's mommy's turn to kill you. Are we just trying to get out of this place now? <laughs> no. Don't laugh. You're not funny. One of us. And then maybe you'll play mm -hmm. nicely. I'm not playing. No! Get that away from me! Yes! Come here, little girl. <gasps> oh, on your health. oh, I think I'm supposed to get that. Hurt. Yeah, I think. I don't think I can kill her. Uh, yeah, that doesn't- I'm just wasting ammo at this point. Let me out of this cursed house. Please! Please, no, let me out! Okay. We we'll wanna save. We wanna save this girl and turn her into a human again. It's trying to make you waste ammo, yeah? <laughs> it is. Okay, the music is kind of like beautiful. It's supposed to calm me down. Oh. Goddamn giant doll, okay. Wait, are we getting cursed? Why are we seeing this giant doll? That's so creepy. Okay. Come back here. We didn't go upstairs, maybe upstairs. 
earthquake or something. <laughs> Mia, stop! Do I have to just go through this whole place again? Frick! I hate this game! It's fine. They can't hurt me. They can't hurt me. They can't hurt me. No, that's a scary door. I don't want it. There she is. Found her. Stay away. I didn't guard. No, I have to start over. My hands are too sweaty. No. No, no, no. Stab her. Quick. Grandma. Why does she be on the ground? I can do anything to her. Like what? Are we gonna get eaten? Oh my god, did we make it? Did we make it? Please save me. What the? Please. Can I move? Doing okay. Is that my gun? It's okay. I have like five more. Please heal. Please help me. What is that? Use what?
thank you. Thank you for the raid. Sorry we're in a cutscene, but thank you, Gord. Welcome on in. I hope you guys are good. We're just finishing Resident Evil 7. I hope you had a wonderful stream. Thank you, Gord. Okay. Now the military is here? What? Thank you so much for joining the raid, guys. The military is here? I'm Redfield. Hello, Redfield. I'm glad we found you. Thank you for finding me here. Uh, the fuck took you guys so long? Got the military on my side. Got Redfield. Wait, Claire's brother? <gasps> really? That's so cool! That's Claire's brother! Okay, I need a story recap of all the Resident Evil games. Yeah. Damn. You made it. I'm glad. Did I? Yeah, Mia! I almost gave up on you because you tried to kill me like three times. Yeah, I only played two and seven, so I missed like five stories. Oh, beautiful. They say that when one door closes, another opens. Well, a door closed tonight. Thank freaking God. Oh and my what God. A long night it was. But not just for me. Me and I weren't the only people. Oh, have tea. Here. So were the bakers. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what? <laughs> Mark, you're insane. Get out of here! Are you freaking kidding me? What a chill. Now she's back and wants to start over. Thank you for that very generous tip, Mark. Maybe this is where the next door opens. Oh, God damn it. That's freaking hilarious. Oh, my God. Yay! We did it! We finished the scariest game I've ever played. Wait, no, please be over. I'm done. No, we're done. Stop. It's over. Thank you so much, Marku, for your <laughs> insane, hilarious tip. Please be done. Go tell Aunt Rhody. Go tell Aunt Rhody. All right, credits. Oh, the scene will play either way. Cool, okay. Yeah, the music is cool though. I like it. Ah. Thanks for making awesome games, Capcom. This was super fun. Stanley was grandma all along. You guys are silly. <laughs> that family. So they were actually, the Baker family was apparently innocent until they got infected. Yeah, that kind of stuff happens a lot, unfortunately. Yeti, you would think that, but it's not necessarily the case. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, with streaming, unfortunately, any music, you have to be suspicious of whether you'll get in trouble for listening to that. No, no, not a true story. No, 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 no. Yeah, the stories are cool. Difficulty easy. 16 hours. Restarts five. That means, like, how many times we died? Um... Mr. Everywhere's destroyed. Oh, I didn't want to destroy those. Save my stuff. Got 10 coins. 28 out of 32 files. Oh, that's cool. Item box open 97. Healing items used 27. Stabilizers used 1. Steroids 2. Cool. 16 hours. Yeah, we got a lot of files. We like lore. 